Hey guys, what's up? It's looking luscious Latino <clears throat> with the voice cracks be cracks uh, got with the voice cracks and the stuttering beginning already. Anyways, welcome back for some more Pokemon Emerald. In the last episode, we beat Roxanne at the Rock through the Roseboro fucking Can I get anything right with my intro today? Ros fucking Roseboro fucking I don't even know where the fuck we're at anymore. Is this fucking yeah, Roseboro City fucking rock type gym shit. Okay. Off screen, I went ahead and picked up some stuff at this, the Mart. Got some potions, some paralyzed heals. That's not something I picked up. It's something I picked up, but not at the store. Super potions, antidotes, and some repels. All right. So repels are a godsend for people that do fucking walkthroughs on this game because they make it, they make it so you don't have to cut out fucking wild encounters, and that's pretty good for me. Cause so. Oh. Oh, it's you, that fantastic trainer who helped me in Pedalbug World. Tell me, I'm right by Team Yankee. I have to keep my Devin Good back. If I don't, I'm gonna be in serious trouble. Well, just stop getting robbed, you fucking idiot. It's not my problem you're getting robbed. Seriously. Anyways. So, yeah, the way repels work is that your Pokemon are higher level than the Pokemon Tall Grass, then you will avoid them. You cannot avoid trainer battles with this. They won't like fucking. Ooh, look, a free repel. My investment already paid off. My bug Pokemon are tough. Let's battle. I actually do want to face the trainers in this uh, in this route because spoiler alert, Kip is pretty close to evolving. Uh, he's got Whirlpools. Not too intimidated. I guess you could come back here or here if you're having a hard time against the gym leader Roxanne. But I'm I was pretty set on. Oh, I got luck. Well, yeah, I was pretty sad because I had a grass type and a water type. And for some reason, didn't pull up, put up that much of a fight. I remember that fight being a lot harder. Probably because this last time I played this game was like 2005. Six, around there. I'm so mad, though. Like, my, I lost my actual copy of Pokemon Emerald in the airport, and I'm so pissed because that was like the first, like, game where I, the first Pokemon game where I trained my, uh, where I actually trained a Pokemon all the way to level 100. I trained two Pokemon. I got a Blaziken from a trade and a Swampert I started out with. Or a Mudkip that I started out that turned into a Swampert. Ooh. Should have put out Waltz for this. I could probably take it down. Just attack level a bunch. Oh, fuck you. Oh, <laughs> joke's on you. I'm already paralyzed. Actually, let's just fucking switch Pokemon. Let's get Polo shut. I was really pissed about that, because the first two Pokemon I trained to level 100 on that was fucking lost in the airport and lost and found, probably never to be seen again. Unless some, some like, maybe some TSA guys, like, they ain't coming back for this. Let's give this to my little boy or I'll play it myself or some shit. In that case, I'll probably delete the file and this Pokemon are lost forever. Oh, yes, it itself is going I also had like a level 50, like level 80 something Flygon that I was training up to. Spoiler alert for later in the game, I guess. This doesn't really matter. I fucking already know what happens in the game. I'm pretty sure it's it's been freaking like 10 years of you guys. If you don't know what happens in this game, after 10 years, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, let's go ahead and give Kip an ant. Paralyze you. Oop. Is that Kip a paralyze you, please? There we go. Which want to get into a double battle with these two dudes? So we do that's just run. Tunnel doesn't go through the top. The tunnel doesn't go over. It doesn't go through. That's good. To the top. It's a dead end here. I'm bored. So we can battle. What the fuck are you doing here, anyways? Don't you have shit to do? Well, actually, now you're like a ten-year-old kid. Of course, you don't have shit to do. Why would I be even asking you that? Why would I even be asking you that? Jesus. I cannot speak today, guys. It's one of those days. I'm not tired or anything. Today I'm actually pretty awake. I'm trying to wake up earlier and get shit done. But that never seems to work out well. By get shit done, I mean fucking just get shit I have to do done. I'm trying to record more videos, but every time I try to record Pokemon, this shit gets. Just, like I said in the last video, shit gets in the way and it's really fucking annoying. I try to get everything done before I like set myself to a commitment like game and schedule. It sounds really stupid, I know, but fucking 
fucking paralyzed again. It's so annoying. I set myself to like a gaming schedule or record. Or I've been doing the grind. Oh, well, you're stupid. You could have absorbed Kip and got some more damage in there. Oh, critical hit. Fuck yourself. Tackle. Ah, oh, Kip is paralyzed again. Fuck you. Paralyzing Kip, you bitch. Give me some crits. No fainting. That's cool, too. I still got one more. It's a lot bad. Cool, we still got to tackle off on that guy. Ooh, almost dead. Confusion. Yep, he's done. 100% thing, he's done. Sure fire thing. 100%. Gone. Yeah, anyways, but I just try to commit myself to fucking doing something. Whether it be gaming or stuff. Losing made me tired. That was fun even though I lost. Damn straight. Fucking lost, you bitch. What? Kip is evolving! Yay! We get our Kip to evolve. Our Mud Kip. Thinking about this nickname isn't really suit him in later fucking evolutions, but in hindsight, I really can't come up with better nicknames anyway, so whatever. Yay, we got a Marsh Tom! This thing's a fucking adorable. Look at that smile. Ooh, Mud Shot, yes. Look at that smile. Let's get rid of Bide. I'm never gonna use Bide. Remember the first time I saw this, I'm like, oh man, look at that. It's, it's off a of time legs. Actually, stand up now. Even this sprite looks adorable. Look at it. Alright, so let's go ahead and switch this guy out for uh, this guy, because I'm about to battle this dude, and I'm pretty sure. He's got rock type Pokemon, cause we'll rock you hard. It's a pretty good hint. Oh yeah. Let's do a one up. Let's give him that absorb. Delicious. Give me that give me your life juices. Mmm, give me that shit. We're up to level eleven. No, let's keep using fucking Shroom Mission being cheap because I want to get this shit done fast. Hey, people are being loud as hell in my house again. I don't know what to do about that. I mean, I could soundproof my room, but. Eh. It's not really worth it. I still have people that yell my name regardless and will rush in here because I still don't have a lock on this door. Probably never will. Yeah, roar, what's going on? I was digging the tunnel without tools and some goon ordered me out. Tunnels full of Pokemon that react badly to loud noises that could cause an uproar. So I stopped using heavy equipment for tunneling. I'm worried about the goon just being stupid and start all the Pokemon in an uproar. Anyways, there's one of those trees that uh, cut can cut down. As you can see, it's in capital letters. It can be cut down. Cut. 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 Do you get the hint? I got this... I hate the X special. Like, the fucking X items are garbage. Don't even waste your time at the shops with them. They're fucking garbage. I think they're absolute crap. Oh, what am I to do? We were on a walk, Pico and I, when we were jumped by an odd thug. Scanner made off of my darling Pico. Wah, Pico. Is he roaring at the Pico? For the fucking Pico dude? Or is he fucking telling... Is that him crying? I don't, I don't get it. Anyways, to seal up Pokemon. Probably didn't need to do them. Oop, Propel's effect wore off. Do I want to waste another one on this cave? Nah, it's not really worth it. Got a Wizmer. I used to think this Pokemon was really freaking weird looking back on it. It still is pretty freaking freaky. It's got like beady eyes and. Good map, and I got a Pokeball. Cool. Don't really need any more Pokeballs. I'm pretty sure I can... What? Are you coming? Come get some, then. Well, okay. This hot Pokemon turned out to be worthless and think I made a getaway in this tunnel to nowhere. Hey, you, you want so you want a battle? Well, that was climactic. Hmm. The intimidation. I'm 100% intimidated. Anyways, fuck you. 
Leech Seed. Really? Fucking gonna send it. Are you gonna be one of those assholes that just fucking sand attacks me until I can't see and then you're gonna be. You're gonna win the battle by terms of accuracy alone? Because I won't be able to land one of my sh fucking moves. I think this is, that's how this battle's gonna go. Fuck you. I have my effective sport sucking out your life, bitch. Or my leech seed. And my effective sport is my fucking ability. Damn, I do no damage. Effective sport? Nope. Of course, only when I fucking physically attack people. This thing's never gonna fucking work for me when I fucking. <laughs> people attack me. Give me some of that juice, though. You won't be able to kill me because I'll just keep life stealing your bitch from your bitch ass. Oh shit. He increased his attack power. I think I'm done, boys. Pretty boned. Watch this miss. Oh, I fucking called it. You can keep doing this shit. It's really annoying. It's not really just prolonging your death. See? You got like 1 HP, man. Well, fuck off. You're dead. Let's see. Alright. Oh, that guy's dead. Not me. Don't fuck with the fucking mushroom. He'll fuck your day up. My career in crime comes to a dead end. Well, maybe you shouldn't run into fucking caves that aren't done yet, you dumbass. This, this is plain not right. What the fuck? Boss told me this would be a slick and easy job to pull. Well, you fucking took a hostage and you fucking ran away into a dead end tunnel. Of course it's not going to be an easy job. The Devon Goods. No, that's what this guy was talking about. What about this shit? What about this bird bitch? I'm glad to see you're safe. He goes alive to you. They call me Mr. Briny. Briny. Briny, yeah, let's go with Briny. And you are? Ah, so you are Cisco. I sincerely thank you. Now, if there's anything that troubles you, don't hesitate to tell me. You can usually find me in my cottage by the sea or near Petalbrook Woods. Come, Pico. We should make our way home. Pia! Well, I'm getting a message. Please, no Skype call a Rooney. I've tried to. F I didn't put myself offline. I didn't think anyone would be up this late. What about this guy? That goofy goon hightailed out of the tunnel. I can go back to digging. Do you have anything in your house? That's all I really give a shit about. To get the vineyard in town without using this tunnel, you'd have to cross the sea to do for it. Sail out to sleep or then travel through Marville. That sounds like a journey. The rest of the tunnel there. At first, we had to hear your work through boring through the rock with the latest machinery, but we had to stop. It turns out that we were never going to Pokemon in the area, so we had nothing to do with low round, do nothing. Well, okay, you're getting paid for nothing. That's the dream, man. So man is getting his way to Vand and Turf all by his lonesome. He's desperate to get through. He says if he digs little by little, using machines, he won't disturb Pokemon. He'll avoid harming all the natural environment. I wonder if he went through yet. He's standing outside your cottage, dude. Do you fucking look out the windows? Jesus, man. Eh, let's go ahead and use a repel, because I don't want to deal with fucking... Pokemon, and I got a free one in this round, anyways. Alright. I think there's some berries up here. Up, oh, well, there. I see the berries, but they're not accessible, and I'm not gonna use Cut, because Cut's a garbage move, and I hate it. Let's see. Machop. Hello, that's a cool Pokemon. Too bad I can't trade and get one myself. Or I would give them. I think they are available in the wild, but I don't know where. I do like Machop, but I just don't like the fact that I can't get him his full evolution. Oh, oh Effective Sport took effect! Fuck! Oh, wait, no, that's bad. I remember because Machop has a passive ability that fucking makes it so he gets double the attack damage whenever he's fucking paralyzed, poisoned, or fucking burned. Ah, uh, the dream backfired on me. A oh, fucking course, the one time I actually get it to work, it's the fucking gonna do the opposite for me. I don't think it's gonna do that much damage though. Yeah, he's doing low kick. Low kick only fucking affects heavyweight Pokemon. And the fucking Shroom is as light as a fucking leaf, I guess. I don't know. Can you hurry up and die, please? The one thing I don't like about battling with grass type Pokemon is they rely on status effects, and typically it means you'll have to drag out battles like this. Using Leech Seed and Poison. Cheap! But effective. That's why I like Bulbasaur in the first game. 
He wasn't that heavy of a hitter. But boy, could he fuck your day up in the status effects fight. Should probably switch off for Paula now, because... Oh, I should have done it. Just fucking switched out Paula for the first time I saw him. So that would have made this battle go a lot faster. Anyways, I can't even get those berries, so that's good. Let's talk to this guy. How'd it go? The Devin Goods? You did it. You got them back. You really are a great team. Right now, as my thinks, I'll give you another great ball. Man, dude, you have great balls for days. Please come with me. Oh, good. He teleports me. I have to walk. Devin Corporation Suit 4. President Office in Zoom. I can't tell you how much I'm grateful I've done for you. By the way, the parcel you got back for us. Can I give you the delivery? To... Really, man? Fucking. Fuck. You're making me do your fucking shit for you. Come on. I'm a 10 year old kid. You're like a what? 20 year old male? Man, let's get some Pokemon. Fucking do your own dirty work. This guy looks like a mob boss. He's probably gonna make. Like. Sit down, son. I can't even do a fucking mob boss impression like the father. I'm Mr. Stone, president of the Devon Corporation. He's got worried about you. You saved our staff not just once, but twice. Now the Don owes you a favor. I have a favor to ask of an amazing person like you. I understand you're delivering a package to Slayport Shipyard. Well, on the way, could you stop off to Deford Town? I was hoping that you'd give a letter to the Don's son, Stephen, to Deford. <clears throat> the Don. The Don will thank you greatly for this gift by not fucking sending assassins after to kill you. Even though that there's no one competent. Ooh, a poking nav. There's no one competent enough to fucking deliver a fucking package. It's a map of all the Hoenn region. You can say anything. You heard the sinister ring. I believe they've been making trouble far and wide. If you need the message before you rested up, before you went on your way. So you heal me here? Why couldn't I just go to the Pokemon Center? I'm pretty sure, like, I'm not gonna be able to pass through. Back down to pedal through the Pedalburg Woods if I don't have. Or without passing through the Pokemon Center. Eh. This game's logic. On the bright side, you saved me, saved me some steps on my repel. I've been developing a new vision for the minute and turn out great. Cisco may see the Pokemon have a game. That sounds like it fucking fucked it up. Hey, Pokemon, now you match call. You can chat with people who have been registered in your Pokemon. Give a president a call. Okay. Uh, match call. Oh, Cisco, so you call me the people who people we asked to take call them. Good luck. Fucking. That's not creepy. Anyways, let's, let's fucking let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, you better get back to work, you fucking slagger. Basically, the Pokenab, the only reason I use this shit is for a free map. Like, you get a free map of the entire fucking place. Condition really doesn't do much. Just see, like, these are contest stats, but I'll get more into that in fucking later because I don't really talk about it now. Yeah, this is just some stupid shit. Match call, pretty much the way match call works is like if you played the second game or the second generation, it's like the fucking Joey of this generation calling you saying, My Rattata's 100% of Rattata's and they're fucking, yeah. But the good thing about this game is they made it look better, so. It, or not. Well, they didn't really. Oh, actually, yeah, they did make it look better because it's fucking. Third generation! Third generation so much better! I don't know why I healed. I'm fucking my dude just healed my Pokemon, anyways. But basically, with this, you can look up. Uh. People that want, like, the re. to. Do, how do I say it? Rematches? And routes? And they'll have stronger Pokemon and stuff like that, and they'll have. more experience and shit for you, and I think that's a fucking. I think that's a battle waiting to happen. Or rival battle waiting to happen. So I'm just gonna call it quits with this episode. See you all in the next one. Gonna cut it short here. Cause I'm not sure how long I've been recording again. Pretty sure it's been a while. I don't wanna make these episodes too long because they're a bitch to upload. But thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like and comment below. Subscribe if you like my stuff. I will see you all later.